you can significantly increase your views by increasing your ROAR, your relative audience retention, which is a measure of how often people are watching your videos compared to all other videos of similar length on YouTube. This is what you want to see on your videos, a consistent above average relative audience retention. This is not what you want to see on your videos, a consistent below average relative audience retention. When you have a high audience retention, YouTube will recommend your videos here in the suggested videos column of other people's videos. Why? Because when YouTube sees that your videos are interesting, they will surface them higher on search results because people like watching your videos. Here's another bad example of low audience retention. Here is a great example of very high audience retention later on in the video. This was where I gave a shout out to Michael Ronan, the Australian professional photographer who is a Freedom Partner. And look at the amazing relative audience retention I got because of that shout out. What does that tell me? Do more shout outs, right Freedom Family? Here's another example of a VidCon video which started out with super high relative audience retention but then dropped very quickly to average or slightly below average. How does this compare to your channel Freedom Family? How do you get these reports? Start on your YouTube channel and always look at this number. My latest video is 1 of 10, so compete against yourself. Go to one of your videos that you want to check the relative audience retention for, like this one. Then go to analytics, then go to relative to audience retention, see more, and then relative audience retention. It's a bit of a mouthful to get to this location, but then you can just swap between all your videos. You can look at each video one at a time by clicking here. And another good tip to quickly look at how well your videos are doing is go back out to the main analytics and then down here, I will hide myself, you will see arrows. So you could go through your latest 10 videos and look at the average view duration and see which ones are doing well and which ones are doing badly. This one's doing badly. The solid green means it's above average. Which of your videos have the highest ROAR, relative audience retention? When you find out, do more of those videos and less of the ones that have low ROAR. Another useful report in analytics, go down to the see more of your top videos and choose average view duration with a second metric of average percentage viewed. This will show you a nice report of your top performing videos with high average view duration and average percentage viewed. The YouTube algorithm values watch time, not views, over recommending videos in search. And watch time is directly influenced by relative audience retention. I hope this video was helpful to you, Freedom Family. Click that eye to see the playlist of all the videos I made on The George Show to help you grow. Are there other topics you want me to cover? Ask down there in the comments below and I will prioritize videos that you want to see over the ones, over the long list of videos I already plan to make. We have some exciting announcements for you, Freedom Family, later this week about early access that all of you will be able to participate in. It's a brand new Division of Freedom that we are launching and you will get to see all about that in a few episodes. Any guesses to what this is? Tell me down there in the comments below and those who are closest to the actual thing will get a special shout out from me. Now let's do something we didn't do in the last episode because I was busy running off to the dentist with my kids. Let's read your deserving comments, Freedom Family. Starting with Kongs, who asked, Gameplay is reused content. Click that eye to see the video about the official monetization policies clarified where I talk about ways that you can get YPP suspended and demonetized. And gameplay is not reused content if it is your gameplay. 
It is reused content if you upload other people's gameplay without adding your own human commentary, like compilations of top Fortnite moments. That is what's getting a lot of gameplay channels demonetized, Freedom Family, especially if they have no human commentary added by you. You need to be transformative. Just taking someone else's content, putting it together into a top 10, is not enough. You need to add your opinions like a movie review channel does to make it fair use and monetizable. King's Radio asked a music question about slowing down a song. He asks, if I slow it down but I don't change the song name, is that okay? It is not. According to YouTube's policies in that eye up there I just mentioned, if your only change is to slow down a song, then you upload it as a music promo video on your channel, that is reused content according to the new YouTube content quality guidelines. You need to add more transformative value in order to monetize that kind of content. Hindi Dub Movies asked, does freedom allow to use copyright content? I said, yes but only if you add human commentary, like in a movie review. You know those channels that show clips of full-length movies, but add human commentary. You don't have to show your face, although it's better if you do. As long as you add some opinions about what you are reviewing, then it's okay. It's called fair use. Skyware Entertainments made a prediction. He said, in 2025, YouTube will remove custom thumbnails. In 2030, YouTube will remove titles, descriptions, comments, and click-through features. And that is where it's heading to. This is about YouTube removing poll cards. Click that eye to see the video I made. I replied, hopefully not. The lack of use is the reason YouTube removed poll cards. I don't see custom thumbnails having a lack of use. Jerry Plays asked two important questions. The first, about rights management. He's saying it's not showing up on his YouTube dashboard. I replied, you need to be YPP enabled to have the rights management page. And that means you need to be uh, accepted to the YouTube Partner Program. And if you are YPP enabled, your Made for Kids videos will not have the rights management page. The second question is regarding AdSense. Do I need an AdSense account to join the Freedom Network? Yes, you do. Because in order to be YPP enabled, you need to have an AdSense account. Otherwise, you will never get accepted to the YouTube Partner Program. Hope this helps. TS Time replied to that, George, my channel accepted to the YouTube Partner Program, but when I join Freedom, it's showing some issues, review status denied. If you get that, just email support at freedom.tm the details about your channel and why you think you should be accepted to Freedom, and we will give you a personalized answer explaining our decision. Pangea Prime was very upset and said, YouTube used to be fun. I replied, YouTube has to satisfy three different groups of people. Creators, that's people who make the videos. Fans, people who watch the videos. And the advertisers who help us make this a full-time gig for those who are doing YouTube to pay all their bills. Sadly, this means YouTube needs to create new policies to keep all three groups happy, which makes being a creator more difficult, I know. But it is worth the effort, in my opinion. Have you noticed your CPMs rising? I have. I think YouTube is doing a great job helping advertisers come back to the platform, restore that confidence, especially in these hard COVID times. Mark Heider asked a question about thumbnails. What about my own outtake bloopers videos where I pick the same thumbnail when the main content is different in each video? I replied, I think thumbnails should be unique not because there's a YouTube policy that requires it, there isn't one, but because the audience needs unique thumbnails to, to decide what to watch next. And guys, you can get strikes for thumbnails, so don't copy other people's thumbnails. There's always a chance if some original creator notices you've stolen their thumbnail that they can give you a strike on that video for stealing the thumbnail. Mark replied, most of the time it is YouTube that picks it, as it is an auto-generated thumbnail from the video. Well, that's a problem. You should create custom thumbnails or pick, if you don't want to create one, pick one of the three options YouTube gives you that's different because you don't want the same thumbnail used in more than one video. TechDunk asked the question, where has the comments reading been? 
Had to run to the dentist today. That was my last video. Next episode, I will read your deserving comments. And here we are. I'll stop there for now, Freedom Family. My glasses are starting to fog up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sunpie, your Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. And I hope you also go to the dentist regularly, at least once every six months, to get your checkups. Until the next episode, click that like button if you like this video and subscribe to Freedom Central. Oops. And gong that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. I am George. You've been watching. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.